Hi, I'm Dr. Heidi Memmel. I'm a breast surgeon at Advocate Lutheran General Hospital, and I'm one of the co-directors of the Caldwell Breast Center. Within the past few years, we have started up a high-risk breast clinic uh, at the Caldwell Breast Center. It's to evaluate women who may be at increased risk of developing breast cancer and to counsel them on their screening and risk reduction options. So, one of the components of our risk reduction program is women who are at increased risk of developing breast cancer because of their family history. So one of the most important components of being at high risk for breast cancer is a family history. If somebody has uh, one or two first degree relatives with a history of breast cancer, especially in the premenopausal years, or multiple family members diagnosed with breast cancer, that conveys an increased risk to that individual. One of the most important components that we do at the high-risk clinic is uh, genetic counseling and genetic testing. We have the capability here of testing for the BRCA1 and BRCA2 mutations. And what these are is mutations that can be passed down either from your mother or your father's side of the family. And if you're a carrier of that mutation, you're at very high risk of developing breast cancer in your lifetime, anywhere in the range of 60 to 80 percent. If you're a carrier of those mutations, you're also at increased risk of developing ovarian cancer, somewhere between 20 and 40 percent in your lifetime. So for those women who we suspect are mutation carriers, we do the genetic testing here. It's either a blood draw or a mouth swab. And if they're a carrier of that mutation, then we offer them additional screening options, such as a yearly MRI and a yearly mammogram. We also offer preventative options. For example, a bilateral prophylactic mastectomy or even removing the ovaries. That reduces the risk of developing breast and ovarian cancer to below 5%, so it's very effective. So that's something that we recommend for the genetic mutation carriers, but not for all of the high-risk population. So women can be at high risk of developing breast cancer for other reasons, not just because of the genetic mutation. Having a family history, um, having multiple previous breast biopsies, or having breast biopsies that show what we call atypia. Those all convey an increased risk of developing breast cancer, and for those women, we can also offer additional screening options. For some of them, screening MRI is appropriate. For some of them, preventative medication is appropriate. Something that blocks the estrogen from the breast tissue is very effective. Those medications offer a risk reduction of about 50 to 70 percent. So coming here to the breast center, getting idea an idea of one's risk status, and being able to go through all the options for screening and risk reduction is truly beneficial.